Hello and welcome to another Bearded Geek toy review. In this episode, we're going to be reviewing the Admiral Akbar Black Series figure. Stay tuned. So, welcome to this brand new episode of Bearded Geek Toys, and we're looking at the Admiral Akbar Black Series figure. Uh, this is the first one in the line of Return of the Jedi, and the green seems to be the colour for Return of the Jedi, so a lovely picture of Admiral Akbar on the side of the packaging there. During the Battle of Endor, veteran commander Admiral Akbar oversaw the rebel attack. Coordinating with starfighter operations led by Lando Calrissian and Wedge Antilles. So, again, just on the side there. Just the Black Series logo. And then back to the front again. He really does look like he's a very cool figure. So let's get him open and let's have a look. So once again, the clamshell front of the packaging just form a part of this. And obviously we're just left with the cardboard outer packaging for the Black Series figure. And again, I really like, do like uh, the new Black Series packaging. I think it's a lot better than the standard uh, black and red boxes that we used to get. So let's just take that off there. And let's pop him out and have a close look. Admiral Akbar out of his packaging. He does come with just one accessory, which is a standard Rebel blaster. Uh, I don't think I ever actually saw him with a blaster. He certainly doesn't seem to have one uh, in the briefing scene in Return of the Jedi. Um, but it's, ni it's a nice little accessory. It's not something that I think I'm going to have him holding or have him displayed with. Uh, because, like I said, you know, um, he doesn't strike me as the kind of character who would have had or carried a blaster because he is the Admiral of the uh, Rebel Alliance. But the first thing that really pops into mind when you get this packaging out is the paint job. Uh, the paint job is absolutely amazing. And one of the things that is really, really striking is the eyes. The eyes eyes just look really really good the attention to detail um, on those eyes is just quite astounding I don't know if they've used a different kind of plastic because there is kind of a glaze on those eyes just it just makes them seem even more lifelike um, and very very accurate to how the character appeared in the movie um what we also have here is kind of like a loose kind of like different kind of plastic which forms his outer um uniform his tunic as it were uh, let's give you a bit of a view of him around there whilst return of the jedi is playing in the background which is very apt okay so not much detail in there but again you know you don't didn't really see the character like that um 
Posability is really good, as it is with most Black Series figures. You know, he's very nimble, does move around a lot, you know, um, so lots of potential there to have him in different poses. Um, this figure is a welcome addition to the Black Series and um, high, highly recommended. Um, you know, I couldn't say that um, there's a single flaw with this particular character. I guess that what we'll probably do is at some point Hasbro will probably release probably an Admiral Radisson using similar kind of sculpt. Obviously the uh, Mon Calamari character from Rogue One. And then potentially we might get um, a re-release of the older Admiral Akbar as he appeared in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi before he was ridiculously killed off by Ryan Johnson, but let's not go there. <laughs> Still a sore subject. But again, um, the attention to detail, the sheer brilliance of the sculpt is just amazing. And I can't recommend this figure absolutely enough. Uh, a welcome addition to the Black Series line and it's going to go pride of place in my Black Series display. Before we go, I'd just like to mention that recently the Star Wars Galaxy has had some sad news in the passing of not just one, but two of the iconic actors who brought to life characters from the original trilogy. Dave Prowse, who was the man behind the mask for Darth Vader and brought to life the menace of the Dark Lord of the Sith for the original trilogy, uh, sadly passed away three weeks ago. And um, recently, in the last couple of days, we've had the news that Jeremy Bullock, who portrayed Boba Fett in The Empire Strikes Back and The Return of the Jedi, as well as appearing as an Imperial officer in The Empire Strikes Back, and also a Senate pilot in Revenge of the Sith, has also sadly passed away from a long battle with Parkinson's disease. Um, had the pleasure of meeting both of these actors um, a couple of times at various conventions and signing events, and both were a huge credit to uh, the universe that they helped create. Lovely, lovely uh, people who never had a crossword or never looked miserable or down, and were always welcoming to the fans and always happy to discuss anything related to Star Wars. I'm sure you'll agree that without their contribution to the Star Wars universe, then the iconic characters that they helped create wouldn't have been as iconic as they were. So a huge tribute to both David Prowse and Jeremy Bullock, and rest assured that the characters that you help create will live on, and rest in peace, may the Force be with you. And finally, just a big thank you from me for making this channel the success that it's been. Um, when I launched it in August, I didn't think for one minute that anybody would be interested in my ramblings over various geek merchandise, uh, Doctor Who related, Star Wars related, Transformers, Harry Potter and such. But um, thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed so far. Uh, thank you for making my Halloween Michael Myers NECA figure the most successful video that I've had with nearly 600 views. Absolutely can't believe how many people have watched that. Um, so thank you very, very much. It means a lot. And if you haven't already liked and subscribed and hit that notification bell, then it would mean an awful lot to me if you actually did that as well. All that remains for me to say is thank you very much again and hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas 
and I hope that 2021 brings um, some kind of stability to everyone's lives and gets better. Depending on what Santa brings, hopefully we'll have some cool new videos and some new merchandise to review in the new year. So stay tuned, thanks for watching and stay safe. Merry Christmas. And before we go, just a nice little word. Uh, nice, that's not a bloody, that's not the appropriate word, is it? No. <laughs>